What's up? I have gotten millions of requests for a sweet picking lesson and I'm going to do you one better than just making you a quick video. I'm going to give you an actual sample video from my course Modern Rock Guitar Techniques. This is the sweet picking overview and included examples that you get if you sign up for the course. The course contains over three hours of high resolution video, dozens of supplements and resources, lifetime access on iOS, Android, and any platform like Windows and Mac, and also a nice little certificate of completion when you're done. The cool thing about all my guitar courses is that I'm constantly updating them and adding new content, so you are never going to run out of content because I'm never going to stop putting up new content. So if you like the feel of this lesson and you want to learn all the techniques of a modern rock guitar player, click on the link down below and sign up today. Let's get into some sweet picking. Yes, sweet picking. It's the thing that every guitar player thinks they want to learn. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. It is flashy and cool sounding. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different sweet picking patterns on various string sets that I think will be helpful to get you started on your sweet picking journey. Of course, there are millions of different ways that you can sweet pick regarding finger positions and different tonalities and notes. But the foundation we're going to establish is going to train your fingers and confuse them so they don't get comfortable in just one type of sweet picking pattern. So we are going to start with the basic right hand technique and then we're going to look at the left hand. So here's the pattern we're gonna be using to learn the sweet picking mechanics. So place your left hand on the strings to completely mute them because we are just going to look at the right hand for the moment. What you want to do, each time you pluck a string, you want your pick to have a falling motion to get to the next string in the sweep picking pattern. So here's our right hand on the initial string and it falls to the next string and to the next string. And that's it. And as you guessed, it's the same exact concept coming back up the pattern. So we'll start with an upstroke on our bottom string here. Pull on to the next string in the sequence. So all in all, And it's not a picking pattern, just as it's not a strumming pattern. It's more of a gliding motion. And this applies for any amount of strings that happen to be in a sweep picking pattern that you're trying. So if it's a five string sweep, it's still going to have that same concept apply where you are falling to the next string. And that's it. So take a look at my pick with our example pattern. As you can see, it's approaching the next string in the pattern immediately after plucking the previous note. Here's a closer angle. As you can see, it's a glide. And really my thumb is dancing around because of the palm muting happening. So each time I pluck a string, you wanna make sure to mute it immediately so that way you're not getting this type of effect. You don't want any other strings ringing out. So there's a combination that I'll show you in the left hand, but your right hand wants to be addressing each string just as you leave it for, you want to be slightly muting it. 
Here's a front angle. So I am still working on landing on each string to set myself up for the most precise attack. Now let's take a look at the left hand. As you can see, after I play each note, I am pulling my finger off the previous note. This saves us from getting this effect. We don't want that, so in order to eliminate the possibility of multiple notes ringing at once, we pull our finger off immediately after playing its note. Here's another angle. So, as such, when we pull off our finger from the note that it plays, as we move on to the next note, we're wanting to mute each note that isn't ringing out in some combination of right hand and left finger muting. So the fingers, really what you want to concentrate is getting them off the string immediately after you attack the note that they've held down. Really you want to slow down the process. It's going to be a slow going, if you've never tried this before, uh, a lot of people make the mistake of going and obviously that doesn't sound great. So you really have to put on a backing track or a metronome, some kind of timekeeping element and slowly speed up the process. Sweet picking in a nutshell, guys. We are going to move on to a slew of different examples for you to get some licks under your belt. And obviously, you want to start slow, like I've mentioned multiple times. Start slowly and then build up. You're going to want to use a metronome or a backing track, some kind of timekeeping device to keep yourself from you know, kind of sloppily raking over some of the notes. We want to make sure each note rings out clearly. So with that, let us move on to these sweet picking examples. Yeah. 